Right, it's starting high on the roof there. Katowicz in Poland. You can see the course laid out in front of you. It's a great location, isn't it? It's going to be something good. It's lovely, isn't it, when we take mountain biking actually into the city centre. It's 24 degrees centigrade, so that won't be bothering the riders. Over the 30 seconds or so, they're on this 25 metre track. And yeah. the wind, more importantly, saying five miles an hour. I mean, let's not beat about the bush here. The wind is a pretty critical factor when you're flying off the roof of a building on a bicycle. And that's why we had the problems we did in qualifying. Yeah, I mean, you can't put a number on it. The wind, you do you do everything by feel. Sometimes a headwind is better than a crosswind. I'd say crosswind is the worst. And to see the riders kind of pushing qualifying right back into the evening, it's not surprising starting 22 metres up in the air, up on a hill, up on the rooftops. I mean, people who work on roofs don't like it when it's windy, but when you do a mountain bike no. tricks 20 <laughs> metres in the air, it's, just, it's a similar story, isn't it? It's You're not going to want to go to work. You can't blame them for that, that's for sure. So um, I guess all the riders are going to be feeling the pressure right now. It might be the first sort of time they've got to try out this course with no wind, and they're dropping in in finals. They've got three chances, best run counts. The judges are going to be looking at every single detail. These, the jumps are huge. They're going to be looking for what they have to offer on the big air time ones, but also the small feature that's at the start, the small drop, that tabletop. It all counts. You can't discount a single feature. You've got to put together the perfect run to win. And these are the 12 riders that we're going to see in the final here today. David Godziak takes his way up. That's Diego Cavazzi. He's a favourite for me, actually. Is he? Yeah, he's, he does a humongous tricks that no one else that no one else really does. Backflip cliffhangers. He uh, did a backflip bar spin to cliffhanger at Copenhagen last week. What <laughs> trick? Yeah, the cliffhanger is a motocross trick. From he's the doing it on a mountain bike. There we go. Yeah. Thomas did from the UK. Sam Pilgrim as well in the final. Well, Nikolai oh, Gakin and messing about. <laughs> Holy Toledo, what was that, Matt? He's only yeah, that's not even in the competition. No, Cork 720 fly out on a quarter pipe. That he's a he's spent many years on the BMX in the skate park, and he's proven it, isn't he? So uh, it's good to see Sam Pilgrim back at back at Slopestyle competitions too. I'm so excited to watch him drop in. I've got a lot of insane memories with him yeah. competing, traveling the world, and he's back in Poland and he's qualified well too. Go on, Pilgrim. Yeah, be good to see what he can do today. That's Griffin Paulson, number one qualifier. He'll be dropping in last, which comes with some pressure, but also that could limit your three runs to two. If, if you get to the end and you're still leading, you get to see it all happen. You last to drop in, and that's Love, quite nice. Lovely. The most relaxed afternoon you can have. So those They're the boys. are the 12 riders we're going to see in action. Thomas Ginon, Alex Alenko, Victor Duhan, Max Fredrickson. Sam Pilgrim, David Godziak, Diego Cavazzi, Thomas Dead, Nikolai Rogatkin, Paul Kuderk, Simon Godziak, and Griffin Paulson will be the last to drop in. The Canadian with that phenomenal qualifying run. But loads of big hitters in there, and I think, I know Matt, that we said after qualifying, you said that, yeah, that's definitely the best 12 riders that have gone through to this final. Yeah, definitely. I think we're expecting to see a start list that looks a lot like this one, and I'm pleased about that. We're going to we're gonna get a hell of a show, and there was quite a spread of scores in qualifying. Uh, yes. I think about 15 points spread first to 12th, isn't it? That's right, that's right. But with so many mistakes and not much practice, I think... I do think that's going to be a, a tough one for the judges. That's going to be narrowed. It might not be 15 points. It might be less. So, And interestingly, Matt, you know, Griffin Poulter, the only rider to break the 90-point mark. Yeah, and the youngest rider. 91.66, yeah. Yeah, here we go. So Thomas Genon, he'll be looking for a 91.66. He's done it before. In here goes dropping in. At Red Bull Hardline a few weeks ago on the big bikes. So that's an opposite 360 with a foot plant. Really technical. Real signature Thomas Genon style. Double tail whip on the step up. So he's building points here on the smaller features, which is important. I love that. No foot can clearing the box. Into the massive drop. The 360 table. More complex than the 360. Into another humongous oh, 360. On a 13 jump. meter jump. 360 table. High on that. And a decade or a 360 downside tail whip. So much better than he did in qualifying, right? He's just stepped it up instantly, I'm yeah, right? Yeah, he's got a confidence boost there. That's unbelievable. I think um, Genon's going to use the three-run format to his advantage. He's clever, he's experienced. If he gets a score on the board with this run, which he's bound to, look at that double tail whip on a step up. I you're, cannot You're, you're a big over. fan, aren't you? You love him. Well, look how big that drop yeah. is. The guys are on hard tail bikes. I mean, you know, bearing in mind, I come from a background of downhill. Look at the height on that. 
And the style on that, incredible. Yeah, Genon's style's unique. See, that's upside down. He's upside down. He's yeah. turned the bike even further. I think, don't don't concentrate too much on the score this one. The first rider on course, the judges use as a benchmark, that's right? That's right, yeah. So the score is, is something to base all the other riders on. If it's not in the 90s, it doesn't mean it's not a top run. No. They need to give themselves space between 0 and 100. Especially with a three-run format, right? Exactly. If, if this gets a 95, they're not giving themselves much space <laughs> this early in the show. So, But it was, did look faultless to me. It was very smooth. It's classic Gen on style. If they're looking at anything to maybe bring the score down. There we go, an 80.33. He's well, going to be stoked with that. Good man. And I think we got more to see from Tommy G here this afternoon. Yeah. Two more runs, of course. Don't forget. Back to the top for Alex Alanko. Here's the sweep. Alex, another rider that spins both ways. You might see Cork 720s in both directions. The judges really, really care about that. Once upon a time, it was all about the difficulty of your trick. Now it's about doing that both ways. And a man who has finished third in an FMB Diamond event in the past, so very capable. There it is. Oh, look Cork. at that. <laughs> Cork 720, I'm so stoked this is, oh my word! No way! He goes from the hardest trick to falling off on the easiest part of the track! Well, luckily oh, he's smiling man. about it. I was just saying earlier how the Swedes are so gifted with riding wood and skate parks, and he's lost his front end on the flat turn. Oh, wow. Well. Can you imagine how that feels through a Cork 720, one of the <laughs> hardest tricks on a bike? Unfortunately, I, I do can't. feel for him. I, I can't imagine how it feels, but I can imagine how that felt, but I mean, let's be honest. It's not really a part of the course the riders are going to be giving too much thought to, is it? You know no. what I mean? It's just it's it's just between the jumps. No, we know that flat turns aren't ideal on bicycles, but you wouldn't expect it to hamper your entire contest run. Well, what a shame. No, I do feel for him, but that Cork 720, like I said, that's a huge trick. Don't count him out of the car. We've got two more runs. That two was more runs. Not, that was not Villa Volvo Vuvar. He won't be happy with that. <laughs> but two more goes, so, yeah. And, of course... You know, the difference being, Matt, if it was a two-run format, he would be under massive pressure for that second run. Another Sweden, Swedish rider now, Victor Duhan, 26 years old. Super from talented Stockholm. rider. He loves front flips. I can always guarantee we'll get a front flip out of Victor. A Nolly 360, that is a lot more difficult than a stock 360. Wicked start to the run. There it is, the front flip, unturned down, turning the bike onto his shoulder. He makes it round the turn. Oh, I like that. A man you're lapping over the box. That's the skate park style. 360 on the big drop. There it is. No way! What? No what? way! Front flip suicide on a 13 meter jump. Ah! Oh! He over a tight! Oh, and he went down he hard. He went hard, yeah. Well, he did hit his head. Best medical staff immediately to him. But he did, uh, yeah, did come down pretty hard there. That front flip suicide, no hander though, Rob. Unbelievable trick. I've never seen anything no. like it. No, I don't think I've ever seen one in a competition. Oh, really? Yeah, front flip tuck no hander, we know, but a suicide where you hold, grip the seat, leave the bars way out in front of you. I hope we get a slow mo of that because that's over a 13 metre jump. That must just feel like he's actually fucking. Oh, yeah, we saw Nikolai Ragatkin actually in qualifying. Was he qualifying in practice over rotated on the step down? Yeah, a flat drop backflip. He yeah. looked out very similar to that crash. And you know what, riding on wood like this, it's easily done. You don't get as much top grip on the back tyre when, yeah, yeah. when you start holding that manual. And it's likely that you end up... Here we go, here we go. So this is the crash. Don't... I can't get my head around the amplitude of that jump. Honestly, that's enough airtime for Nikolai to do any one of his tricks. Is it really? Yeah, and any other rider, they might have something something to do on that. So, Rob, there hasn't been any big slopestyle competitions for a couple of years. It's been a rocky couple of years, hasn't it? Yes, yes, exactly. And Just I think we're going to get a treat from some riders that we don't expect to have new tricks. They've, they've, got, they've had two years to progress, to work on new stuff, and this is going to be where, where we're going to be seeing it. Well, the Swedish riders are coming thick and fast. Max Fredriksson, the next man at the top. Good to see Victor doing back to his feet, walking away from that... Uh, Nasty looking fool we just saw. Oh, good start. Nolly bar spin. So using those technical technical ability these boys learn in the skate park. A double tail whip. Similar style to Thomas Genon, who's currently leading. What's he got on this tech on this box? 180 bar spin to half cab back in. Super tech. Truck driver on the drop. I wow. love that. That's a huge trick for a flat drop. Judges will love that. Backflip tail whip. He couldn't have landed better. Silky smooth for Max. 
Backflip, oh. double bar spin to Tokno Handa. This is a winning run right here. What? And yeah, a 360 he... double bar spin to unturned down. That's a mouthful. That's... Rob, I don't think you'd have had the tricks on that one if I left that to you. <laughs> that was complex that, and it was tech. I, I, I did spot that he looked like he was strugg struggling to get his hands back on the bars. It's, it's, it's insane. There's a lot going on, man. Yeah, there is a lot going on. Here we go. They've got a replay here for you, Rob, so you can break this one down for us. <laughs> Double tail whip on the step up. You're going to have to slow it down a lot more than that. You know that one. 360 bar spin on Beautiful. the drop. Max really couldn't have landed any better on this flip whip. Look, he caught the bike so early, hardly bends his legs. This is the Swedish style we know and love. Flip, double bar spin to tuck no hander. All comes down to how much air time these jumps are giving the riders. So good to see Max land a good run. Go on, Max. So, Gen on leading with an 80.33. I'm going to, if I was, I'm going to bet on Max being way above that with that run. Okay, let's go down. What an amazing run. Tell me more about how Poland is treating you and how do you enjoy the course? The course was terrifying in the beginning, but now I kind of like it. <laughs> yeah, you seem like you're super confident with your tricks. How can you improve for such a great run? Uh, just got to send it, right? Yeah, let's just send it. Let's see what, what the judges have to say about it. Yeah, hopefully they're pleased. Yep, fingers crossed. So there's the top three at the moment. Thomas Janine, Janon leading. Oh, a 90! But Max Fredrickson smashing it, the first 90. Yeah, he's cracked the, the 90. Board today. That feels good. That feels so good. And he's got two runs to go. I don't know what he's going to offer yet, but this is what we're talking about. Well, you know this man very well, Sam Pilgrim from the UK. Yeah. It's a so man who has won Sam. everything, hasn't he, in 2013? He was unstoppable. Yeah, weekend after weekend, Sam would just win event after event. He went on to be world champion. Now he's back in Poland with a, a tail whip. I'm surprised about that from Sam. This is awesome. What's he got on the step up? Huge 360, style it out with a little tweak. Sam could shine oh! easily on this box. Gets a drift on on the flat turn. That's all right. He makes it work with the bar spin, and now he's going to really shine. Flat drop back flip. Fair play. Unreal trick. The judges love that. Flip whip. Oh my goodness! He's got deep too. A lot of riders going long on that. It must be 15 meters. Flip turn down, maybe trying to get his hands off there. And a 360 tail whip. Epic. I'll tell you what, for someone that I know focuses on YouTube, that was an unbelievable run, right? Is that yeah. a surprise to you or is, that, is he just so capable of that? Sam, he rides his bike every day, doesn't he? He's unreal, he's so talented and he's the most he's got to be the most experienced competition rider there by a landslide. But, I know, know he's got he's, I know he's got more to give. But the good thing about Sam's run there is a lot of variety. It wasn't repeating the same tricks. He's going upside down, he's doing 360s. He definitely was going for a no-hander on that backflip turndown, which would be a sick combo. I'm sure it would only be Sam bringing stuff like turndowns to mountain bike competitions. Look at that. The, the airtime on that the, jump. The 2013 FMB world champion, this man. But I must say, you know, Matt, I don't know, but to, to be come back to competition that sharp, I know he was at Copenride last week, but he's less and less on the comps, really, in the last few years. Yeah, definitely. He's not been doing the comps, but he's shown he's still sharp, he's still got what it takes, and this is going to be a... Yeah, 75.66, so he goes into third. But Sam knows he's got more to offer. Brilliant. This is shaping up to be a hell of a comp. Three yes. runs, Rob. Three runs. We're going to see every rider three times. Well, one of the locals next. David Godziak, 27 years old, from Suzek, here in Poland. Headphones in. Here we go. Truck driver on a very, very small drop. He's fit, doing well to fit in the bar spin there. Polish crowd are going to go nut. Front flip, no hander on a big step up. Here we go. This is shaping up to be a good run. Sort of unturned down, clearing the whole box. I know the judges will like people that oh. jump that. Tail whip. Don't underestimate the twist. Oh, down. My That's a 1080. Yes, Perfect. David, go on, he's putting it together. Bar spin to no hander. What's he got on the last jump? He's gearing up for something big. A cash, <laughs> what? Cash roll, bar spin roll. And he snatched it around and landed it perfect. Well. Two unreal tricks on those last three booters. A twister and a cash roll bar spin. I'll tell you what, the judges are going to have to be careful here this afternoon not to outpoint themselves. It's three runs, yeah. not two, and we are seeing some gold runs already. Yeah. What are they going to do with this run, eh? <laughs> I don't know, it looked pretty good to I me. I know, I said the course is probably going to be split into half with how you look at it, small jumps, big jumps, but David's absolutely smashed it on everything. Bar spin, no hander. Not the most complex, not the hardest trick, but I tell you what, he went high and he landed good, and that's what it, that's what it takes. Well, we're going to hear from David now. 
do it is epic. Amazing stuff. Perfection. David, what goes through your mind after landing such a nice run? Thank you. Yeah, I'm stoked to do the first, not that crazy run I would like, but at least I landed something. Yeah, I bet nothing crazy is something different for us and for you. Can you explain to our spectators how to do the twister? Twister is like you go to the front a bit and you spin to the side as much as you can. Then you see the the clouds, then you see the floor, then you see the landing, and then you need to land. Oh, sounds easy. <laughs> Tell me, how is it to host world's best athletes in Katowice? It was our dream to host all the best athletes here, especially with that good uh, course we got here. It's so amazing. Yeah, can't wait to see what you prepared for the second round. So yeah, let's hear the judges. Well, I'm excited to see what this man gets now. Yeah, me too. Such a complex run, but like you said, Max has already trumped the 90s. They're not giving themselves much breathing room to score 12 no. riders three times. That's right. But it's, it's got to be in the 90s, hasn't it? 88.33. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised about that. Yeah. I think the judges are looking for, honestly, everything to be perfect, like Max but also not to, not to exclude a jump. I think it might have been that bar spin to no-hander on the second jump, which arguably sends you the highest of the whole course. Maybe that's the place he's got to improve to take on first place. Great, great analysis, Matt. And now it's Diego Cavazzasi, 27 years old, this man. And third place at some of the biggest slope style events on the planet in the past, so a man very capable. He looks hungry, doesn't he? He looks fierce. He looks revved up for this one. What can he do? 360 on the first drop. He's going to shine here, I'm sure. Backflip, no hander. Tuck no hander over that. That's a jump that people are getting caught out on in qualifying. Flat drop, backflip. That's Whoa. huge. That's good. Lands good. Front flip, no hander. Whoa! Oh, he went goes deep. Massive! Backflip bar spin. Look at the air time on these jumps. They're all landing low, which is more time in the air. And he had to finish with a tuck no hander, so clearly lost a little bit of speed on the second big hit down there at the bottom. He might be disappointed with that. I think he is, he looks yeah, it. Yeah. Thankfully, this but, is a three run format. And you know, Matt, this course, you know, as we say, wooden takeoffs, wooden landings, ramps, etc. I mean, it's pretty perfect, right? Which means to me that we're going to see the biggest tricks these guys have got this afternoon. Like, it lends itself, this course, to letting these guys really show us what they can do, as we're seeing already. It is. It's a, it's a playground for progression. This wood is going to roll the same speed every time. Yeah. And assuming there's no wind. Oh, he went five, six metres too long on that jump, and it's already the biggest on course. But that just, just justifies what we were talking about. The airtime is there to do almost any trick. Wow. So deep on that front flip. I think, to be honest, we're seeing riders use the three-run format here, where I know that I know what we've seen in the past at Crankworks, even a couple of years ago at events, some of these riders have a bit more to offer. So I think they're just getting a safe score on the board. Yeah. It's wise. Yeah. There you go, 69.33. It's 69.33 for him then. But as Matt said, we know the Italian will have more to offer. What a location. Beautiful, five riders to go then in this round one of three. And it's an Englishman next to British rider, Tom Instead from Cornwall, 29 years old. Let's see what he's got. And a great qualifier for him. Saw him go fifth with an 85.66. Can he improve on that? There's a 360. Tom really, really excels on the big jumps. Oh. Front flip on the step up. He's going to make it count down the bottom 100%. Just rolling over the jump box. That will lose points, right? Yeah, yeah. Back, flat drop, backflip. He'll claw some back. Backflip, no hander. This is what we were talking about. Tom's playing it safe and he's getting a score on the board. Flip bar spin. Huge head time. Can't get my head down that jump. <laughs> and a cork. There we go. Cork 720. Oh, it's so perfectly smooth he, and beautiful. To look at that. He did. It was good to watch. It was nice to watch. He landed perfectly. It's not a winning run because he can offer more. Everyone knows it. But I think we're, we're watching firsthand this three-run format actually be 
work to Sunrider's advantage because he's going to be on the board. He's going to got a score, which isn't only good for points. It's good for a confidence boost. Flat drop backflip. I'll never get my head around how you can backflip off of no takeoff. It took me forever to learn that trick. Do you know what? It's one of the most impressive things yeah. I've ever seen. And, you know, I mean, watching Rampage with the cliffs, the flat drops, yeah. backflips, it's just madness. Yeah, the day somebody said, I don't need a kicker, I don't need a lip to do a backflip. I know. Change the sport. Really change the sport. Right, so Tom Eistead, he can double flip. There it is. He can cash roll. We're going to see some mega runs from him. Oh. I wonder what the wind's like. into those tricks, huh? Yeah, exactly. I wonder what the wind's like for the riders. It'd be interesting to get a view of some of those wind socks because it did hold them back a bit in practice. 77.66 then for Thomas Dead. It's a good score. He goes fourth. Yes, very good then for the Brit. Well, conditions looking good at the moment. Yeah, this will be a heater. I'm strap. excited for this one. Yeah. Strap in. <laughs> a strap in for this one. Look, Nikolai Rogakin. Emil Johansson's done all the winning over the last few years. This is a massive opportunity for Gav Rogakin to get back on top. Fast plant 360. We're already onto a good one here. That's up there, the best trick on the first job. Cork oh, 720 on the goodness. step up. Come on. Out of the gate. Just choosing to manual that might hamper. Big but crash there we go. here, doing Flat this drop, trick. Backflip. Yep, nailed it today. The twister on the big jump. He's oh, gone deep. Oh, my oh, God. He's gone deep. The size of that jump. What was going on there? God, that's, <laughs> that's honestly the biggest 1080 I've ever seen in my whole life. He's flown 16 metres through the air. He did land. It's pretty obvious what Nikolai's tactics are this afternoon. Yeah. Throw everything at each run, judging by that. That was absolute madness. Yeah, caught 720 on that. Oh Not the my. biggest jump on the course, but he couldn't have landed any better, could he? No! That's a 360 backflip, essentially. Flat drop backflip, showing that he's got a good enough flat drop. In fact, one of the best flat drop tricks in the game. Look at that. That's blowing my brains out. Three what? <laughs> the bike is the wrong way round yeah. almost before he comes in, just before he comes in to land. I don't think there's anyone in the world that could have ridden that out. Look at that. And... Um Bang! I mean, he was so close, just yeah. over rotated a little bit. Almost punched himself in the face. The forces through him and the bike. Well, that's right. On these big jumps, small mistakes, I'd imagine, Matt. Slightly off axis on the yeah. landing and things are going to be punished like that. You can't hold on to it when you've jumped 13, 14, 15 metres through no. the air. And done a 1080. Let's and not forget <laughs> that. Let's not forget that. Yeah. <laughs> just to make sure you're giddy before you land. Well, amazing ride till it went wrong. We're going to see more of Gatkin this afternoon. Two more runs for him. And I'm betting he gets one of them to the bottom. Incredible stuff here. If you just joined us, this is Red Bull Roof Ride from Poland. Katowice. And we're now at the top with Paul Kudirk from Lazak Air More. He's pretty stealthed out, all in black with his black lenses. I isn't love he? it. I love yeah. it, actually. Here we go. Paul's brought some of the more creative moves to the game in the last couple of years with some big videos, which... Is my War, My War was a big yeah, one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Showing both sides of... Uh, the showing when it goes right and when it goes wrong. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, and a bad start. I wonder what he's going to do. I bought, I reckon, yeah. looking at this, maybe. That's the thing about slope style. If you're not 100% on form, you know you're not going to be able to fight for the win. And he's probably been wise there to not go and hit those further six features, save himself, stay up the top of the hill. But it's disappointing. It's a hard thing to come back from when you make a mistake. Yeah, on the first in a feature. run. I mean, it could go bad to worse and pretty much write your afternoon off, yeah, right? The confidence yeah. disappears. It's like snapping your chain straight out the starting downhill. They sometimes win when they do that, though, We've Matt. We've seen it happen. <laughs> I don't think Paul was coming back from one, that one. one. One man made it happen, ever. <laughs> That's why he gets three runs. But yeah. Oh, he's going to cruise to the bottom. Keep Just taking a moment warm. to compose himself then. Oh, straight into a <laughs> casual backflip off the roof of the building. Not that it matters. <laughs> Big slow rotation on that. Amazing. Seven features on this course, Rob. Would you have a run pinned out? You've got seven <laughs> tricks? Probably not. I'd, uh, give me a couple of weeks to work on it, Matt. You know what I mean? You come around my but, airbag. Uh, I wouldn't want to go in cold. I will admit that. I'll come over and have a go on your airbag, yeah. I definitely need to. <laughs> before I go anywhere near anything like that. No, the, the size of the jumps, the technicality of the tricks. I mean, it's impressive. Slope style is incredible, isn't it? 
Yeah, I'm so happy it's back on the map and back on the back on the calendar. That time, that spell we had last year with no events, it, it actually built excitement for me to see what people yeah. were going to come back with. Yeah, absolutely right. And here's a guy who's come back from, from a couple of years off competitions. Simon Godziak then, 29 years old, this man. A massive day for him here. He had a big crash in qualifying, actually, but it's not, it's not, it's not hindering him, is it? A Nolly 360. Cork 720. Whoa! Oh, almost looping out, but he's still got it. He's still on course. So many worlds first to this man's name. Manual over the box. Truck driver. I love that. God, he landed good. There it is. Backflip Superman Seagram. That's an FMX trick if I've ever seen one. Backflip Bastard oh, Tail Whip. Gets back Here on. Here we go. Here we're on now. 360 Tail Whip. Yes. Simon, the Polish crowd are going to be in awe of that run. That was a great run there, and he knows it as well. Look at that. <laughs> he's pumped. You can see on his right arm, he's burnt it crashing in qualifying. That'll be sore, but he's proved. He's at Rampage later this year as well, so a man who can ride the big bike as well as the little bike. He looks super stoked. I'm not surprised. Cork 720, straight up the top of the course, probably the windiest part of the course, almost looping out, but covering the brake to ride it out. This is awesome. This is brilliant. I love the slow-mos too, to see what's actually going on. <laughs> yeah, you need them. So backflip, bar spin, already an insane trick, and then he kicks a late tail whip wow. on the way round, catches the pedals, and he's got to look up for the final jump, where we saw a 360 tail whip. This is classic Simon style. The FMX tricks, the backflip Superman seat grab. Rob, a lot of riders are going deep on that jump. Yeah, they are. It feels like they've probably practiced with a bit of a headwind, and either yep. that's gone or maybe it's now a tailwind, but their speed's off. Yeah, a lot of riders landing deep down that landing. And the more experienced riders will be watching watching this happen and thinking I might need to dab some brake coming into that. The complexity there. So it's got everything for the judges. I'm excited to hear from Simon though. He'll see what he thinks. Absolutely amazing run. Let's hear from him. Simon, I'm incredibly stoked about your run. The Cork 7 was the only exception for a perfect run you made. Tell me, do you prefer to keep it technical or send it big? Uh, I like to send it big for sure. I like to have everything, every kind of rotation and technical stuff and big moves in my run. So I'm trying my best to put everything in the run. So, so yeah. And how stoked are you about having such a lovely crowd out here? It's the best. I mean, we had once in Katowice one sick event which I won and. Coming here, uh, knowing that the support from people, from Polish people, gonna be big, and it pumps me up a lot, and I'm motivated to send it for them. Yeah, let's see what the judges have to say. Thank you. A lot of noise in the crowd for this man, then. Waiting for his score to come in. He gave a perfect explanation, actually, of what it's about, what the judges are looking for. It's about, there we go, an 89-3-3. So he's in second, very, very close to Max's score. He's going to be happy enough with that, that's right. Yeah, no, he explained that it's about variety. It's not just about your bangers, it's about making them look different, making them look good, spinning both ways. I think he did a perfect, a perfect run there to show that, but it wasn't enough for the win. First place qualifier now. So the last man to drop in for run one, as Matt said, is the number one qualifier. Just 24 years old, this man from Prince George in Canada, Griffin Paulson. And he knows what's gone before him. He knows what he needs to do. I know there's three runs, but uh, if you're out for winning qualifying, I've got a feeling he's going to push hard every run. This is a guy that we know has been working hard while the comps have been away, because I've not really seen him compete at this level, and he's come in, he's qualified first. I'm so I'm buzzing for this run. Here we go. Well, he's had a Truck driver, 360 basketball on the first drop. What's he got on the step up? Backflip tail whip. He's landing good. Clearly the judges are looking at him, landing clean, carrying speed. A manual over that. Flat drop backflip. Flat drop, yeah, here we go. What's he got on this big jump? Where's the score coming from? Oh! Massive front yeah, flip. Yeah, the rotation so slow. In the other way, double oh backflip. Oh my goodness! <laughs> One way than the other. And a 360 tail whip. Pretty perfect, pretty perfection pretty that casual. one. Yeah, looked easy for him. The front flip was one of the slowest things I've ever seen. It was insane. Yeah, and then he goes the other way. That's because of the size way. of the jump, right? Exactly. You can't you can't pop too hard with that much air time. You have to almost be patient with the front flip, which is unnerving. So the 360 bar spin is a good way of getting points up the top. 
backflip tail whip, same story. I think that jump box, you know, that third feature that looks like it's not a big part of the course is actually an important part of the course. Well, when you look at the scores and how close they are, it's like, what, 0 0.77 off the lead. Yeah. You've got to take care of every part of this course, haven't you? Every feature. There's seven features. That double backflip, look at that. I love it. He looks down halfway through, spots the landing, adjusts so he can land perfectly. What's it like, Matt, to do a trick like that? Is it, you know, I mean... You've got to have a lot of faith in your ability, yeah. don't imagine. Yeah, I love it. I love you it. You love it? You love yeah. the double backflip? It's a trick that you can't build up to gradually. You go from one backflip and then you have to do two. You can't do one and a half, you can't do one and a quarter. And when you decide to pull the trigger on it, you get you get such a buzz. Yeah. The fear of crashing is insane, but the delight, the desire to land it is even bigger. Is that going to be good enough to him to take the lead? 85, it's not. No, I'm not surprised, actually. I think not tricking that jump box and maybe the straight front flip with no variation after we've seen front flip no-handers and things like that. We've seen front flip bar spins in qualifying. I think Griff's got more to offer. But, like we said, the three-run format, we've said it enough, is so important and it's changed the it's changed the way the riders are thinking about taking on this comp. And there are the standings in after run one. Max Fredriksson from Sweden leads with a dead 90 on the board. Godziak, though, pushing him all the way. David Godziak in third there. So the Polish in second and third. This crowd are going to love that. Griffin Paulson, we just saw him, goes in fourth. And it's Thomas Ginon in fifth at the moment, making a great recovery from a little bit of a worrying qualifier. But, you know, Matt, what's it like if you have a bad first run, if you have a bad qualifier? Is it hard to come out and put that behind you? It definitely uh, has an impact on your mentality because you kind of see yourself down there in 12th spot. You might be thinking, God, I only just scraped into finals. But it's not Genon's first competition. It's certainly not his first kind of time sending it, going big, wanting to be in finals. He should be in finals and he is in finals. So he's got that opportunity to go again. Three runs, we're going to see him climb the ladder. 12th isn't good enough for him. Everyone knows it. But there's some other riders as well, actually, that I'm surprised to not see up there. Nikolai Rogatkin. It's not unusual for him to maybe have a crash and pick it back up and still get the win. So is that right? Yeah, he's I mean, even with the two-run format. Nikolai can go down, look like he's probably too hurt to go again. And then he'll drop him with an absolute heater and win. So this leaderboard, it's not going to stay the same. There's no way. That's why we're going to get a good show. And you know, it must take years and years to get these tricks on lock like this to be able to throw them back to back in a run. I mean, I'm blown away by the accuracy, by the by the ease, actually, with these, the way these riders make most of these tricks look. I mean, <laughs> I there's a lot going on. The rotations to come round and land where you want to, it's incredible. Yeah. Absolutely mind-blowing to watch. Seeing some of the faces in the background there, the crowd, people are just they're staggered by what they're seeing. The, interest, the intricacy of the tricks is a big deal. Even a flat drop backflip, look at that. That's what right on paper you think is a backflip. It's not. There's no takeoff. There's no you lift. To, there's nothing to start the rotation have, no, for you. you. You have to produce that on flat ground. That's hard. That's a, like a full body experience. Front flip, no hander. That's two tricks wow. in one. He went deep. I want to say he went 20 meters, man. Yeah. Yeah. 60 foot through the air. So, um, yeah, it's all to play for. The riders have got a trick bag, a deep trick bag. They can mix it up. They can do their tricks in a different order. And it's also first run. You're kind of getting an understanding of what the judges want to see. It's a judged event. We're not competing against the clock here. This is about what judges expect, what they want to see, and the way they judge things actually changes the way you approach a competition. So I wouldn't be surprised if you see people mix their runs up entirely. What an event. Well, Victor Duan won't be starting in run two, the Swedish rider. Went down hard on that first run. We did see him get to his feet though and walk away, thankfully. But, uh, well, that was an action-packed first round here from Roof Ride. And we go back to the top then for the first rider. Run two now. Run two of three, and it's Thomas Ginon, a former winner of Red Bull Joyride all the way back in 2012. One of the big hitters today, Matt. There's the fast plant 360, spinning the opposite way. Double tail whips. This is beginning, the same as his first run, which scored an 80.33, but with 10 points to find. We know he can probably climb a bit further for the win. So, opposite 360 on the drop. That's big. That's complex. Into a regular 360. The judges are going to love that those are going back to back, yep. showing that he's got both rotations. Ah. No extension on that. No. A mistake. Another opposite 360. So, something happened there, which meant he only did a tuck no hander, which obviously, Rob. I know you're probably thinking, give me a bike, I'll probably struggle to do a no-hander on that job. <laughs> but we know Tenon can do better. It's true, isn't it? Don't 
I love that sometimes we're disappointed as well, commentators. Yeah. And then you think, look at what they're actually doing. Yeah. Opposite 360. So learning a 360 on a bike is already hard enough. And then to do it the other way, perfectly on a flat drop, that's like writing your signature perfectly with both hands back to back. It's not easy. Double tail whip. So Genon's got two runs out of the way, and it feels like he's kind of pulling together the ingredients. He has mixed it up. It's the first time he's brought the opposite trick, the opposite 360 on the flat drop into his run. So I wonder if he's just sort of piecing together a final third run. 61.33 for his second run. He looks Pretty unsure. disappointed with yeah, that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I wonder what it is. We don't know actually how bad the wind is, but to be honest, seeing riders go deep on that massive booter, might be playing a part. Yeah, it could well be. So Alex Alanko, the next man to drop in. Another rider that loves the opposite tricks. He loves spinning both ways because he knows it's a good, it's a really good way of building the score. The judges have got their work cut out of this event. So regular 360 on the first drop. And looking to improve this man after a disastrous first run. Cork 720. Wow! Perfect landing. Absolutely perfect. Over this jump box. He's got man. Here we go. He's added the bar spin, hopping in. Now into the flat drop. Regular 360 on the drop. Big money booter. Front flip. Oh, I love that. This is big. This one's got the big air time. Back flip. Double bar spin. Looked like he was going for the no hander. And a 360 triple bar spin. Three bar spins and a 360. Alanko's really brought a lot of elements into that run. He's going to be stoked with it. He's bound to score way above his first run. But is it enough for podium? I don't know. Good run. Nice to get one in the bag, though, Matt. Exactly. And now he can go out on his third run and really push. That's the point. So a Cork 720, we love that. The judges love that. 360 on that big drop. That is 16 metres in the air over a rock-hard concrete car park. It's got to be unnerving, Rob, riding off a drop and spinning backwards, looking, <laughs> looking down over concrete. You, you don't have to tell me that. Just reminding then, you, mate, I know you've got your eye on slope style. Well, I've been talking about it long enough, and that front flip, though, is absolutely massive. It's astonishing. Back flip, double bar spin, and then he went into a 360 triple bar spin. All right, let's hear from him now. Alex, little mistake in the first run, now everything went perfect. Was that the biggest front flip of your life? Yeah, I think this was, actually. Yeah, it seems like the Luke Sky jumping, but you're on a bike. Tell me, what goes through your head when you do such a massive jump? Uh, I guess you don't have time to think, but you just yeah, go with the feeling and yeah, it feels so good. Also, I love the tech, how you went later on. Is there any space to bring any more tricks or is it your final run? Uh, I think I got something more, actually. Okay, let's see and what the judges have for you. Yeah, I love that. He's keeping us guessing, isn't he? I know he's got more to give. But he said, here we go. Wow! 82.33 then. Sees him go fifth. Well, that'll put a smile on his face. Yeah. I love that as a, as a regular at Crankworks, the biggest slope style competition in the world, Alex just said there, that's probably the biggest front flip he's ever done. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was like 20 metres. I mean, it was a fair size. Here we go. So, Sam Pilgrim now at the top. 2013. No man there stood at the top of more competitions in more countries than Sam. And he's really sharp here today. So he's currently an eighth. He's got about 15 points to find if he wants the first place spot. Let's see what he does. Tail whip, flat drop tail whip, killing a bit of speed, skidding the back wheel. 360 table, so he's shown he's got style, amplitude, and landing good. Landing clean is so important. Bar spin up there, might have been opposite. I need to watch that back, but that's a flat drop oh! back flip table. Yeah. Flip whip and to table. This is good. Adding variation, adding additional components to his tricks. There ah! it is. Flip turn down to tuck no hander and a 360 to table again. So three features. He's adding a tabletop onto the end of his trick, showing I can't just do that trick, I can add this too. Some absolute bangers there from Sel Pilgrim. Look how happy he is yeah, with that he's as pumped. well. We'll all be watching that on YouTube. Yeah, he's already filming. <laughs> <laughs> he's there for the vlog. He's there. Well, amazing to see Pilgrim back at competition and riding like this. Yeah, this is good. This is good stuff from Sam. The tabletop, you don't don't underestimate adding a tabletop to a trick that's already insanely difficult like that. Seems like every run he's just saying, all right, guys, I can add a table to anything. <laughs> yeah. name, name a trick, I'll table out of it. Flip turn now to Tottenham Hander. It's got to be one of the only riders doing that trick. 
It's a proper BMX trick, the turn down, and he's doing it out in Poland on the mountain bike comp. I love it. Colchester's going to be happy with that one. Yeah, they'll all be going mad. And then the fight, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's see what the judges give him then. Sam, it feels like it's 2010 again. You're at the top of your league. Like, how it's possible to be so consistent after so many years? I actually don't really have any idea. I'm so old now. And uh, I don't know, I've just seen all the guys still having the best fun. And I was like, I want to come back, join in and get involved. And uh, super stoked I came over here. Loving Katowice and all the crowd. Amazing. Yeah, I'm a big fan of your YouTube channel. And I was wondering which bike will you choose to ride down here. But as original gangster for the flat drop, you still bring this trick like you are the inventor of it. Yeah, um, loads of years ago, I invented the flat drop backflip and um, stoked to be able to do it in front of everyone here. Yeah, the kids brought, like, stole it for you, but you bring it back today. Yeah, all them little gits stole it. Well, I've brought it back here, yeah. yeah. Can't wait what the judges think about the restaurant because I'm in love. See you later. Cheers, mate. Well, the Polish MCs in love are the judges. Let's have a look, see what Sam Pilgrim gets. It'll be a good score, because it's, it's a unique run, adding all those additional little tabletops, things like that. 75.66 on run one, and he goes better. So pushing the 80 mark, 79.33. I think that's a good map. It's a good score, it's a good score. I'm actually surprised, I thought I'd, I'd, that run I loved watching, to be honest. Maybe it was missing elements of, uh, of variation, just focusing on backflips and 360s. They maybe were looking for more front flips. I'll tell you what, everything doubles. he did, he absolutely stopped, yeah. I would have said. Yeah. Well, this man will be looking to do the same then. David Godziak now at the top. Must feel good right in front of the home crowd and with your brother. That's Huge. rare, isn't it? Yeah. So dropping in then. There's the truck driver. God, he landed good and high up with that landing. Front flip pass, oh! the under. this is good. And he only just looked to me Un like he got back on. Unturned down, clearing that perfectly, carrying speed for this flat drop. With your tail whip, oh. huge, huge tail whip. Here's the twist, the no hander too. No way. This is a winning run, Rob, here we go. Got Bar spins to no hander, what's he got on the last? It's gonna be a cash roll, surely. Cash roll, <laughs> cash roll bar spin. No why? And the Look, he's stoked. What an amazing dismount, incredible stuff. Yeah. And he knows how good that was. And so do the crowd here. Yeah, he's pulled a winning run right there. In Katowice. This is going to take a lot to beat. So a front flip bar spin to no hander. No way. Rob, I wish you had, I wish I gave you the chance to call all these tricks. It's flat drop, <laughs> I'm flat glad drop you don't. tail whip. This for me is the absolute favorite right here. It was a twister, no hander. So that's a 1080, it's a corked out 1080. And he take the extension too was unbelievable. Couldn't have landed any better up the landing. Imagine what it feels like linking these tricks back to back with no time to think, hardly any time to prepare, and you know you're doing your hardest tricks. It's actually what it takes. Yeah. You, can't, you can't do any less than that. You have to do your hardest tricks, every single feature. That's right. Of course you do. If you want to win it, the younger of the Godziak brothers. It was Simon who was impressive last week in Copenhagen. Oh, I love that. But David coming to life here. It's going to be well in the 90s, this, Rob. <laughs> Has to be. Let's hear from him. David, your smile tells everything. Just one question. What you are feeling right now? I'm super stoked to land the Twister no-hander, which is my best trick. So it's a dream to land it in a run. Yeah, let's see your score. Thanks. And he goes third. No, no, second, excuse me, run 295 on the door. Wow, 95. <laughs> Yes, imagine doing that with brother there. Hope crowd five points clear of next place. Max well, Fredrickson's going to be scratching his head after already getting a 90 and then being done by five everyone points. Everyone is yeah. going to be scratching their head now. Yeah. Tell you what, someone like Diego, he's going to be thinking, right, I'm going to dig a bit deeper here. Nikolai's going to be up yes. there going mad too. You imagine <laughs> yeah. what he's going to bring to the party. Here we go, Diego's up. Well, this is hot enough. We're only halfway through the second run and there's a 95 score been scored already. Puts a huge amount of pressure on these riders. 360 Diego, from Diego. on track. Backflip no-hander. He's going to dig deep in the bottom jumps. He needs the airtime. He needs the amplitude to do his big tricks. Tuck no-hander over the box. There's the flat drop backflip. God, it looks like he hardly pulled for that. Front flip no-hander. 
deep again. He's got miles, but he's still on course. Backflip, Barspin tail whip. This is good. Wow, that cash roll. I've never seen someone hang off the back of the bike like that. That is the way to do that trick. He's pumped. An amazing run then for that man. The Italian, 69.33, his first run. He's going to beat that, I think, Matt. He's bound, to, he's bound to improve his score. He's pumped, but I tell you what, to follow David Godziek after that run, yeah. that's a bitter pill to swallow, seeing a, see a competitor do a run like that. What, do, what does that make you think when you're about to drop in? I have no idea. Well, especially with, you know, the noise coming from that crowd here. Yeah, Look yeah. at that. I know. It's like a condor. It's like what Reese Wilson did at Leger, except he landed it. <laughs> <laughs> did Reese go 20 metres with a front flip? <laughs> I think he did. Maybe more. But uh, it didn't have a very good outcome. Yeah. He looked somewhat akin to an albatross up there soaring, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. Quite a wingspan on the guy. <laughs> exactly. Incredible stuff. Look that at this. Roll. Feel free to jump in, Rob, if you know the name of some of these tricks. <laughs> Thanks, Matt, I will. I'll take the slow-mos off you as the afternoon progresses. Right, Diego is no stranger to being sat there waiting for the score to come in. He's bound to improve on the first run, but me being judgmental from here in the commentary booth, I'd say it's definitely not enough at first. No, and I would concur with you. <laughs> waiting for the scores to come in here. That feeling when you're sat there waiting for your score is high pressure. It's all, it all rides on that. These riders are doing competition to competition. They're in Denmark last week, Poland only this week. Yeah. There it is, an 87 Rob. Good so he's score, improved then. nowhere and fourth place. He goes fourth, yeah, he's going to be happy with that. Definitely, definitely. But you can't stress the importance of kind of linking these competitions together, getting fire in your belly. So, things are hotting up. 95 the score to beat at the moment. Tom Eisted. To the top for Tom Eisted, yes. He looks pretty moto, doesn't he? He's gone for the full face and goggles for this cup. A lot of people choosing to get the open face. Helmet we call the piss pot. Yeah. I think I'd be wearing a full face and a yeah. suit of armour. I don't know. Just saying. <laughs> I'd want you to wear a suit of armour, right? <laughs> Flat drop 360. Front flip, no hand Oh, up. my goodness. He's now expected to see him link some back flips, some more 360s, show the judges some variation. I'm surprised he's not tricking that jump box. But a flat drop back flip, that looks lovely after the, after the front flip. Double flip on the long jump. Oh! He could have landed better. This is amazing. Wow. wow. Huge extension on the flip bar spin to no hander. And a cork 720. This is what we're talking about. Variation. Front flips, double back flips, cork 720s. Tom. Look at him, he's stoked. And Look that is stick in the boxes for the judges, we think. The score will tell us. The man from Cornwall is delivering here. He is, he is. The double back has been in his trick bag for years. And I can't believe he didn't pull out in the first run. But that's where I'm not surprised we've seen it in the second run. He's got a whole other run to go. Look at that. That's the longest jump on course. Probably the flattest takeoff too. So he's really got to work to get two backflips going off that lip. Look at that. Yeah, he's tucked in, he's spinning. Spots his landing. Can you, I mean, it's not a lot of control of rotation once you left the lip of the ramp, is there? You can certainly speed things up and slow things down. You but can. A, yeah, 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 yeah. You open up to slow down. It's, it's the law of physics. A bigger radius is Dude, a slower rotation. There ain't no laws of physics being obeyed this afternoon. Einstein would be turning his grave watching this. It's insane. Yeah. As far as extension goes through, that no-hander couldn't have been bigger. <laughs> And a cork 720. So they're they're the component parts. They're the, the ingredients for an insane insane Tom, score. I'm blown away. Tell me, how, what goes through your mind when you do a double backflip on such a big jump? Not a lot. I just have to slow myself down as much as I can. So I have to just pop really slow and just make sure that I'm not going to pull too high and over rotate. Where do you find courage for such a big trick? I don't. I was really scared to be honest. Yeah. The ball seems <laughs> heavy. Yeah. Let's see the judges. <laughs> Now I'm scary to watch as well, Tom, believe you me. Yeah, double flips. Oh, and he goes, yeah, he goes in a fourth with an 88 then. So, he's a just good not... run improved by nearly 10 points from his first run. It's true, it shows what tricks like double flips, cork 720s, all play a massive part for the judges. They're looking for, they're looking for big, big tricks down on those bottom jumps. Nothing else is going to work, nothing else is going to amount to a score in the 80s, definitely not the 90s talking of scores in the 90s this man get ready for this then he's got what it takes 
The man who took Slope Style in a very different direction, bringing in so many spins, so many moves. He needs a good result here. He needs to get down this one. Fast plant 360. Perfect for a small drop like that. Cork 720. Landed good, high on the landing, round the flat turn. So here we go. This is similar to what we've seen from the other winning runs. A manual over that box. Flat drop backflip. Oh. Yes, Nikolai. This is it. There's the twister. No Landed way. good. Come on, Nikolai. It's worth the biggest catch no. I've ever seen. And a huge front flip. Yeah, Nikolai. Some absolute bangers in that run. There's the signature fist pump. Look at his celebrations. It's NFL-esque, isn't it? It's the, <laughs> it's, it's, he's the best in the business as far as those celebrations go. And he's a man who really thrives off the crowd. Yeah. He loves the crowd to get behind him. That excitement's so genuine for Look Nikolai. Look at this. What is going on there? Right, so that's a Cork 720. It's effectively a 360 backflip. Very, very similar style of trick on a lot of these jumps, though. So, where some riders are doing no-handers, bar spins, tail whips in their rotation, I've got that. It's the biggest cash roll I've ever seen in my entire life. That's humongous. Nikolai with the twister, the cash roll, the cork 720. I mean, even mentioning those three tricks in a row is obscene. But what he's not doing is the tail whips, the bar spins, the additional, the additional variations to so call customize the up. to customize his tricks, and that's something that. We saw from the first place run from David Godziak, he did a twist and no hander. So naturally, Nikolai's twist is going to sit a little bit below that. That doesn't mean it's not up for a big score. Judges have got their work cut out today. They have. There's only room five points above, uh, above David Godziak's 95. So not far for these judges to go now. It's true, they're getting squeezed towards yeah. 100 points, aren't they? Yeah. I wonder what it will climb to. And what are they going to give Nikolai Rogatkin here then? Good enough to go into the lead, Matt, you think? Thinking back, no, not the lead, but thinking back to Max's run that scored a 90, I'd say it's on par with that. This will be close to a 90, but I don't know if it will be. Let's have a look. Do you want me to have a guess? Go on. Quickly give it, before the give score. Give it 89.66. Okay. I'm giving it a 91.33. Taking the judges a while to decide on this one. Yeah, this is hard for them because the the tricks are difficult. He landed great, but are they looking for combos? Are they looking for more than one trick per jump? The only man ever to win the triple crown, Nikolai Rogatkin. He's shaking the sport up, hasn't he? Yes. Big time. And right. it's 40.66 for run one. What's run two? 89.66. Is that what exactly you said? What I said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Matt, Matt's got a, uh, he's obviously got a text message from the judges. Yeah, apparently they're flying me to Poland very shortly to score the rest of the riders. <laughs> they currently employ three judges, they now know they only need one. We'll never hear the end of that. <laughs> it's exactly what I said. Right, I can't, yeah. right, right let me just uh, sit back and judge this run for you, Rob. <laughs> okay, Paul Kadirk. Paul Kadirk now, the French rider, 24 years old, this man. And a mistake on the first jump in his last run. So, what can he do now? No! Oh, and again! Again! Oh, oh my goodness! Do you and think he's, he's... Oh, man, and he's honestly... he's disgusted that, with that. He is. What? That's, t that's a hard thing to come back from. Sometimes you look at these, these first features, these setup features as... They're not, in, they're not at the forefront of your head when you drop in. You're thinking beyond them. You're thinking to the 13-meter yeah, yeah. jump where it really matters. But, of course, every feature matters. Everything's just as important because you are judged on your full run. He's cross. He is He's absolutely upset. furious. I don't blame him either. So, well, he's got one more go at this this afternoon. He's walk Let's hope he doesn't just keep walking there. Yeah, I'd, yeah. Wait. <laughs> Headed for the border. What did he do wrong? Foot misses the pedal, doesn't he, yeah, Matt? Yeah, maybe hung up a bit. That's a hard trick, but it's one we've seen from a lot of the riders, so it's clearly possible. God, he was already so gutted. You know what, though? Traditional comps, two runs. He'd have been out already. Yeah, uh, headed, that's right. Headed for the flight home, but he's got another chance. Well, the drama here at Roof Ride, Red Bull Roof Ride, in Katowice, Poland. He's, text, he's sending some cross texts. He's putting on some really gnarly heavy metal. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, we could have Metallica playing for run three. <laughs> Anything. Simon Godziak next, then. 
He's already in fourth with an 89, which is a huge score, but in front of the, front of the home crowd, he's going to want to take on his brother. Nolly 360, I love that. It's tech. It's quite BMX-esque. Looks good. There's the Cork 720. Wow. You can land good on these wooden landings, Rob. If you land high and perfect, it really shows. Man kneeling over the jump box. Technically a trick, but not a full-blown trick. Truck driver. That scored some points. There it is, the huge FMX backflip yep. Superman seat grab. Backflip, bar spin, tail up. This is looking oh. a lot like his first run. 360. Oh, oh. And he goes down. Nearly. He'll be feeling the friction burn from that wooden landing. Yeah, you will, right? So that's similar to his first run, but the truck driver tail whip, the truck whip, the 360 bar spin tail whip. It's hard to talk about these tricks, Russ. It's been a while since I was calling out combos. A lot goes on in each jump. There is an awful lot going on. Wife and kid there. Yeah, great to see. He looks stoked though. It must still be good being rewarded by a home crowd for your efforts. He's still up there with a high score. His brother's in first and he's got another run. So he under-rotated there. And said the biggest influence in his life was his granddad, Brunon, who was the first stuntman in Suzek where they lived. So I don't quite know what that means, no. but uh, obviously a big influence on his grandchildren, Sounds David like, and Simon. Sounds like a legend. And Simon, 57.6. Remember David leading his brother with that 95. Great crowd. What a difference it makes having a crowd to listen to, too. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it, to have, have people back at the event? Oh, God, I'm buzzing for it. Proper events are back on. The riders are stoked, too. So Griffin Paulson, first place qualifier. Last man to go pretty, in this second run. He's pretty new on the scene. Uh, to be honest, I thought his first run was safe. He's got to find 10 points. Yeah. He's got to find 10 points. 85 for run one for this man, then, for the Canadian. 24 years old, here we go. Can he take on David Godziak? Truck driver on the first drop. So far, so good. What's he got on the step up? Backflip tail whip. Landing great. Round the flat corner. He could get some points here. What's he got? See, Emmanuel over here. I think that's a place these riders could be getting more points. Yeah. Flat drop backflip. There's Massive the front flip. Massive front flip, yeah. Double backflip, bar spin. What? What a trick. 360 tail whip. He lands the run. Honestly, that bar's been in a double flip. I don't think I've ever seen it in a competition. No, why? He put it out in an edit. Oh, my word. Is that good enough to push David Godziak? That's it. And God, he's stoked. Look at these boys. They're clear. <laughs> Mate, <laughs> mates on the bike and off the bike, these two. A double backflip bar spin. In a double flip, you are locked in. You're strapped in, buckled up. You're holding onto the grips. You're pulling in tight. It's all about finding that rotation. To find the additional space for a bar spin, it's, it's astronomical, isn't it? It's, it's, I've never seen anything no. like it. And I don't think you have, Matt. This is your sport. No, I know, I know, I love it. So <laughs> I can't wait to see the slow-mo. So very similar component parts to his first run. Flat drop back flip, a front flip. Here it is. So he throws the bar spin immediately. Then he has to go for a whole nother back flip. He's using all the air time. This is what we we're talking about. Big jumps mean big tricks. Go on, Griff. Honestly, though, David Godziak still still has an edge. Yeah. A twist, a no-hander, a cash roll bar spin. It's it's different, it's unique, it's massive. But to be honest, after getting that last score perfectly executed, judged, I might I might not risk doing another one. <laughs> I <laughs> would I would leave, leave it there, it there. Matt. <laughs> Quit while you're ahead. Griffin Paulson then with a banger. Nikolai Rogatkin acknowledging how good that run was. Will he be good enough to see him take the lead? It's top three for me. It's going to be top three. Here he is. Let's hear from him. Dude, was that the world first? Uh, I believe that was the world's first in a contest for sure. Only done it two times before, but double backflip bar. So stoked to do it for this amazing crowd. Awesome event. Let's go. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, man, like amazing. After the freak mode, I couldn't wait to see you live. And yeah, it's a blessing. Thank you for everything you put in front of us and can't wait to see what you bet for the best trick. Oh, we'll see. You guys will have to wait around and we'll send even bigger and better tricks. Let's go! Let's go! Well, a world's first, Matt. What are the judges going to make of that? Yeah, I mean, for judges to sit down and see a trick they've never seen before in a competition, it's only going to raise their eyebrows, isn't it? Get them thinking, there it is. 89.5, wow. Are you surprised? 
I mean, fourth, it's not podium, but that score is tight. It's only a tenth of a point behind Nikolai. It's very, very close. I think it's just things like, I mean, the front flip on the huge jump. We've seen a twist to no-hander on that. There's clearly room for progression there. Griffin's going to use his last run. His first place qualifier, currently sat in fourth. 5.5 points off David Godziak, who leads. It's Max tight. Fredrickson at the moment, 90. Less than a point separating fifth yes. to second. This That's is like right. F1 times. It's close. Godziak. Though with a big advantage at the moment. Well, there's two down, one to go, Matt. I mean, you, you've been one of the, you are one of the best like, slope star riders in the planet. You've competed all over the place. You've got two in the bag. What do you do on run three? Is this the one that is all out now? Is there nothing to lose or? It has to be. I mean, I can't imagine the riders have much more to give, but they'll all have elements. They'll all be thinking, what, they'll be scratching their heads. What can I do? What have I done over the last year without competitions that could have what it takes to get me more points? Because with less than a point separating fifth place to second place, all they have to do is find an additional bar spin, a toboggan, a no-hander throughout this course of seven features. That's going to be enough to put them up the leaderboard by five places. Or at least four. Excuse my maths, sir. <laughs> Lots to take in. There's a lot going on here today. Pilgrim, so, another rider that could really up the ante. He's already adding tabletops to all his tricks, but we know he can do backflip, double tail whips, cork 720s. And there's only one more run here, as we've said, and now the riders go actually in reverse order of points from the first two rounds. So it's going to be Paul Kuderk who will go first. If he's still around, that is. <laughs> well, he's definitely still at the top of the course. So he won't, yeah. He's one of the few riders to not have to walk up the hill. That's the only advantage there for Paul. So we've got David Godziak leading. And what a position to be in. They re-rack the order. So he's going to be last to drop in as a current leader. That might mean, and this is good when it happens, he doesn't actually have to do another run. If he still holds first place at the end of these third runs, he might just choose to go for glory, fist pump the crowd, take home the prize money. Look at that, double backflip. That'll never get old. No, it won't. What a crowd pleaser. What a terrifying trick to watch, let alone do. Yeah. Red Bull roof ride. I'm excited to see this in future years. Hopefully this is a regular on the F&B World Tour. Well, that's right. It's the inaugural, actually, the first time we've had this event. Simon and David have been working on this event for a good few years to bring it here to Katowice in Poland. I got the, there it is, that's a world's first in a comp. A backflip, double backflip bar spin. He was stoked with that. Incredible. I got the bug, Rob. I've, I've sort of got the itch to get back here and compete. I'm well, you this. did tell me off air that yeah. you're thinking about getting back into it next year. Here's the start list then for run three, the final run here at Red Bull Roof Ride. Paul Kadirk will be the first man to leave the top. Thomas Yonong goes four. Simon at Godziak. And then Nikolai Rigatkin, Max Fredrickson, David Godziak, and don't forget Griffin Paulson, and we just saw that world first double back flip bar spin. There from. it is, Rob. I can compete next year because you've got the tricks dialed now, haven't you? You can do the whole show. <laughs> Give me a chance to go there and compete. It was a slight pause as I pronounced that trick, but uh, I think we'll be all right. It's a world's first, Rob. You're the first to say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I called it. <laughs> Amazing afternoon. Sunshine is out. The wind isn't bothering anyone. And we are coming now to the finale of Red Bull Roof Ride. It's going to be a few minutes break. And this is how the uh, track came together, the course came together. Yeah. It's hard. This is what I love about Slopestyle. We can take the events into urban environments, into famous cities by the Spodek Arena here in Poland. It's cool. It gets. It gets the sport in and amongst the public, people might just be passing by and think, what's, what's going on here? They've built this insane course in my hometown. I'm going to watch a bit of mountain biking. Yeah. And this time lapse shows perfectly what it takes. I mean, there must be 40, 50 sheets of plywood just in that one landing. All off the ground so the crowd can sit, am sit get amongst it. Watch bikes fly through the air, watch world's first tricks that they might not even know are world's first. What a spectacle. Yeah, amazing. Huge amount of people down here in the town centre. Kind it's like bitch. a spaceship, that building, doesn't it? Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Beautiful structure. Bit of wind there, Matt. Those big flags are blowing around. The windsock 
Looking like it's a little bit of a headwind, actually, perhaps, down those jumps now. Yeah, it could be changing, couldn't it? It could be changing, yeah. It was interesting seeing so many riders go deep and go long on that first jump. So and this is the uh, backyard of the Godziaks. They're in Suzek, their hometown. And I know that a lot of riders went there in the week for a bit of a jam. And, you know, some of the riders said, we've looked up to these two forever. What a treat it was to go and actually get to ride with them in that compound. Yeah, I've, I've seen countless videos of these two boys training, sending it, doing new tricks at this place. It's, it's pretty iconic in the, in the slope style yeah. sport, to be honest. We've all got our kind of compounds, our, our private places to train. But this is unique. Having a comp in your hometown means that all these best riders in the world have come together just to have a fun evening session but, look at sunset. But at your compound, I'm right in thinking that when you're in the air, you probably can't look left or right and see into the neighbours' bedrooms, right? No, I mean, that's it. That is a town centre setup. Look at it. It's true. Amazing. I wonder what they think eh, when they draw their <laughs> curtains in the morning and they see a backflip cliffhanger. <laughs> Some dude flying by the window upside down. Yeah, great. Fun for a first week. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The novelty might draw. Oh, <laughs> send it. That, yeah. I'm glad he caught the edge of that ramp. That landing. Yeah, it might be different when you uh, you wake up and see an ambulance outside. Cause it's, look at the tricks they have to do. Do you get a lot of dirt takeoffs in slope style these days or is it pretty much all ramps? It's mostly ramps, but I actually find it's interesting when they bring the dirt lips into it because they they're not they don't have the same radius all the way up. They're it's, unpredictable, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. It adds an extra challenge to the riders, and it's something we see a lot of crank works now. That compound's brilliant. Airbags, resi landings, foam pits. It's got it's it's, it's a recipe for progression. Ow! How big a game changer was the airbag landing, right? Because it's it's a relatively new addition to, to training, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. So foam pits were the original kind of progression toy where you want to land safely, but airbags meant that you could not only land well, but you could ride away. And that gives you the confidence to think, I could do this in a competition. So we, people are buying them, they're ordering them, we're seeing more. And that's why the sport's going crazy. And you could turn up in cities and see tricks you haven't even seen the week before. So. Yeah, what a session. I've gutted. I missed that one. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to get back to the competition side of things, Matt. What does it take, though? I mean, you know, we know that you've stepped away from competition. You're working more on videos, right? I'd imagine that the hours and hours you have to put into any of these runs, like there isn't much space for anything else if you are if you want to be at the top of Slipstar, no, you right? You've got to be competition driven. You've got to be relentless. You've yeah. got to be obsessed. You've got to be all about the tricks, all about repeating them. You can't just go and do it once. You've got to do it a hundred times. Well, here's Paul Kuderk who crashed off his first jump and he goes for it again and lands it this time. There we go. He's drawn back a bit. It was a foot plant yes, like 360 in the first run. There we go. So that's an opposite. 360 double bar spin or maybe it was a... Bit of a flip flop where he bar spin in different ways. I'll check that. Bar spin up onto the box. So he's now he's got further through the course than so far. Flip! Whoa! Flat flip, step through. The can can. Back flip, double bar spin. One way, then pull. the other. He's, right. gone, he's gone from 12th place. He's way up looking for a bit. Oh, oh no! That's disastrous. Well, he hasn't had the best of days here. But where that was that was impressive till he fell off there. It was. It was a cracking run with opposite tricks. The flat drop back flip can can. I love. Way, way more difficult than a trick that's already insane. But I'm glad to see he's all right. To crash on a jump that size and just slide out and walk away is, is cool, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, amazing. Yeah, the riders, I mean, a long career in slope style. One thing I noticed quite early on is you don't only get good at landing tricks, you get good at crashing too. It's important. Why is it with the riders with the headphones in? I mean, I see it with a lot of riders. For me, I couldn't think of anything worse than not being out of here, what the bike's doing. Yeah, it's something I, I struggle with. When I was doing those Worlds First last year, I, I listened to music a lot, big drum and bass mix, heavy metal, anything to get me kind of in the zone, pumped up and forget about my surroundings. But I, I'm surprised they're not wanting to listen to the crowd noise. It's quite gladiatorial yeah. even. It's like Coliseum-esque listening yeah. to a roar from a crowd. That's right. You've got to be quite good at something in life to hear a crowd cheer your name. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't want to listen to the Beatles if I got that chance. Can't imagine he's listening to the Beatles. French, Paul doubt it very French much. rap, what do you think? It could be that band that was playing outside a hotel last night. I don't think so, do you? No, but the, the, the acoustic fellows from Austria. <laughs> well, the next rider we're going to see will be Thomas Chinon, a French rider. 2012 Red Bull Joyride winner, this man. 
Tommy G, I believe, he's not made it into Rampage this year, right? Because he wasn't top 10 last year, I think. Yeah, that's it. It's gutting for him. He's uh, he's so good on a downhill bike. I know. Always... He was incredible at Red Bull Hardline. You were there with me as yeah, well. Yeah, downhill event. He, he really like stuck out as a... Amazing, as a... wasn't it? To see yeah. him just hit. Well, he couldn't believe how dirty the landings were, how rough it all was compared to the groomed kind yeah. of, you know, the work they put in at Rampage or something, yeah. which did surprise me a little bit, actually. But what a well, what a well-rounded rider to be riding these wooden feet here, yeah. he's huge up. Red Bull Hardline, and we've seen him at Red Bull Rampage. He's got to be one of my favourite riders on course today, and definitely, hands down, in my opinion, has the best style. Yes, beautiful style from him. 27 years old, from Belgium, actually, he lives down in the south of France now. There's Paul Cadurks. So he's had a, he's had a rough ride so far, Genon, with 12th in qualifying. Yeah. But we keep saying, like, people like him, Pilgrim, who have been on tour for so many years, they can, they can scrub off the pressure. They've it's a, it's a tough place to be at the top of these courses. There's so much going through your mind. You're thinking about all seven features. But with time, it gets easier. But it still matters. So Sam Pilgrim, Victor Duhan, both sitting out this last run. As we go now for Tommy G then, on track. There's the foot plant 360, opposite rotation two. So already pretty much maxing out the first feature. Double tail whip. He's still repeating what we've seen so far. I love that, tail him all the way over, clearing the whole box where most people are manually in it. Yeah. Opposite 360, regular humongous oh! flat spin. The air time on that three is massive. 360 table, oh, he's hung up, he's lost speed. in his feet no. out. Yeah, just uh, like that, it's over. Tommy G's had a mare, showing his skate park skills there, but he's gonna have to write this one off. The 2015 world champion of the uh, free ride mountain bike tour, this man. So he's flying back to Belgium without probably what he would hope to have been a podium. Yeah. Double tail whip. See, Tommy G's, he, yeah, I'm a bit speechless to be honest. I'm just gutted for him. Because his style's brilliant. And when he brings it all to the table with the style, the difficulty, the score can climb well into the 90s. That's where it went wrong there. Is it, is it a case of, you know, I, I come from downhill mountain bike racing, but you know, you have time training on Friday, then qualify, and then the race run. And if those early components of your weekend haven't gone well, it kind of trips you up. The confidence isn't there. I mean, he's had a terrible qualifier. Maybe it's just put him on the back foot. Yeah, every, I was about to say, back foot. Everyone's human, and when you start to get a string of what feels like bad luck, it's quite easy for that to continue. So, the remaining Swedish rider, Alex Alanko, Max Fredriksson as well, didn't start his second run. As I said, Victor two and out after that crash in round one. What can this man do then? Here's Last Alanko attempt then. at roof ride. 360, we've seen him cork 720 this jump so far. Let's see if he opts to do it something else. Opposite, oh! cork 720. He's spinning the absolute other way to already what is an insane trick. Big points there at the top. Manuel over there with that. a bar spin. But what a difference stuff like that's going to make to his yeah, run. He's clicking the points here. Big time, regular 360, front flip no hander. Oh! What a massive jump. What a huge jump. He was looking for a no-hander there on the back foot double bar spin. He didn't go for it, oh. but with a 360 tail whip. Now, this is going to be interesting because we've seen him do a lot of these tricks so far, but up the top of the course there, he started with a regular 360 and then opened up an opposite cork 720. There it is, spinning the more difficult way. He's spinning towards his front foot, which is so much more difficult. Your hips don't point that way. It doesn't feel nice. It's not friendly, but he stopped it right there at the top of the course where it really matters. That's going to boost his score. Quite a lot, in fact. It depends what the judges think of this. So this was a backflip double bar spin, and he had time to maybe pull in a no-hander. It felt like he was going for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So he sees subtle things where he's almost displayed the scope for progression, but not committed to it. Yes, I got you. And the judges will see that. But you can't take anything away from Alex. That's an unbelievable run. Crowd would have loved that Cork 720 at the top. Looks mental, doesn't it? Yeah, it does look absolutely mad. The run started so strongly for him. Life short, stunts it. And he goes there. 85, so it is his best run. He'll be happy enough that. Great Definitely. run from him. Boosted the points, but not enough. What was that, eighth place? I think it was. So an 85 score rewards eighth place. That's how hard these riders are pushing, yeah. where an 85 is only just inside the top 10. Diego's currently sat in seventh with an 87. 
So here goes the Italian. Then. Here we go. Then let's see what this man oh, can bring on. to the table. That surprised me. He's just chilling. He's cruising. Well, he's just written this one off then. Happy yeah. enough for what he's done so far. He's throwing his name. Oh, that's still, still a flat drop backflip for a laugh. <laughs> Another backflip. So yeah, he's throwing, a small gap, is it? He's throwing his name in the hat for the after party, getting this crowd to all hear his name called out three <laughs> times in a row. He doesn't want to miss his chance. And he's got an 87 on the scoreboard. I mean, it's pretty yeah. good. Won't be improving with that. Yeah, sometimes playing it safe is a strategy, not just for the comp, but for the season. Now we're getting comps back. We've got we've got BC Crankworks coming up in a few weeks. He'll be thinking ahead to all of those mainstream events, those big diamond events. You need to stay on tour, don't you? So, yeah. And let's be honest, it does carry quite a lot of risk what they're doing today. The yeah, absolutely does. So that is a, that's a strategy what Diego's done there. It's just cruise down, be happy with your score. One rider, I must say, who very, very rarely adopts that strategy is Nikolai Rogatkin. He's going to go for broke, I think, in the final run. He's going to be sniffing the winner day, isn't he? Yeah. Is Rogatkin going to be disappointed with anything less than that, Matt? Not um, less. But, he's mean, done he's... it for more. He will be sniffing for something better. Sure. Yeah. So, seventh place for Diego Cavazzasi. Still some riders to drop in here, though. At Red Bull Roof Ride, watching us live on Red Bull TV. It's the third and final run. I'm Rob Warner. I'm joined by Matt Jones. And now we go back to the top for Tom Eistead. 88 on run two. Here he goes. He's not even doing the same strategy here, look. We all know that Eistead can trick that first jump. Yeah, look, almost a mirror image of what Diego's just done. There could be a lot of factors here. This is, like I said, strategy for the whole season. Pumps the career. The table. Still doing a flat draw backflip. But there's also the wind might have picked up. You never know. Ah, well, that could be right, Matt. And that would see these riders perhaps ring, uh, risk less. The wind sock, though, was looking uh, limp. Pretty deflated there on the background, yeah. But Eistead might be happy with his work from run two. Yeah. That's the thing, this third and run. 88 for him. And of course, yeah, it's new to these guys yeah. as well. Look at the height on it. I know. I love the backdrop too. That, that arena's humongous. It looks like a UFO ship. Yeah, this, this three run format's new. And if, if it plays into your hand, if you want to use it, some of these riders that are yet to drop are watching these guys not improve their scores. And they're thinking, okay, I'm safe. I'm top five. I'm going to stay there. But do I want the win? How much do I want it? 42 for cruising so, down, doing some backflips. And there is a beautiful aerial shot of the Spodek Arena. And there's another man that's going to be dropping in off the roof of it. Simon Godziak then. Huge score in his first run with an 89. He saw him crash in his second. Fit isn't good enough when it's your home crowd, is it? No. Here we go. Nolly 360. So he's, he's stuck in. He wants the third run and he's using it. Cork 720. Oh, massive at the top of the track. Definitely, definitely going higher than most on that jump. Manning in over that. This is where it counts now. Truck driver, huge technical trick on a big drop. There, that's the extension he's looking oh. for. Massive Superman seat grab backflip. Oh, oh, backflip. oh my goodness. Open it up, slowing it down. There's the 360 turn. It's all clean, it's perfect. It's an amazing run wow, from Godziak. Incredible. <laughs> Crowd will love that. He almost stalled that double backflip out. It yeah. was insane. He stretched out to slow it down because you are so high up on that jump. <laughs> My goodness me. Yeah, Wife and daughter in there straight away. They're enjoying it this afternoon as much as we are. Enjoy one of the five a day there. <laughs> yeah. With a bit of post run veg. Insane. He landed perfect on everything here, Rob. This is like, it's what I love to see. Huge tricks. Do you see him open up there? Straighten his arms out. Unbelievable. Slow it down so he can land nose in and carry speed for the final jump. That's where they look best. Side look. Lock. Yeah, just cruising. There'll be a screenshot in there where he's perfectly upright, midway between two flips. Inside. Be hilarious. Yeah, he couldn't have landed better anywhere, to be honest. Bringing some of that FMX influence in. So he swapped out a backflip bar spin tail whip on the second jump for a double flip. So he's got changed from technical to just mega difficult amplitude. It's hard for the judges though. And he could have took himself out with a low flying bicycle at the end there. Yes. Health and safety nightmare. So happy about your run. Tell me, is it what, that was your dream run? 
No, I'm actually upset. I wanted to do way more. And uh, yeah, sorry. Dude, don't, don't tell sorry to me like you're an amazing rider. Thank you for the show and thank you with Katowice crowd for you. Yeah, cheer them up. Thank you, Jenki! Yeah, he's stoked. Disappointed, obviously, with what he knows he could have done. And I'm obviously curious to know what these riders have been working on behind the scenes. But that was an unbelievable run. I mean, he's fighting fit. He's had a couple of crashes, but he's still going to go on to the next event, which is key. Look at that burn on his right arm. Yeah. That's from qualifying. Slid down the huge first landing, which probably heated his elbow to a thousand degrees. Exactly. No doubt about that. Yeah, he's stoked. So right now he's looking at his, his, his brother in first place. Yeah, 95. I mean, unbelievable score for him. 89.33, the best for this man so far for Simon Godziak. Didn't sound like he was best pleased with that run, though, surprisingly. No, exactly. Everyone knows what they can do. It's, it's hindsight's a wonderful thing. When you finish a run right away safely, you think, I could have added a bit more, perhaps. But we're waiting on his score still. Obviously, the judges are looking at that double backflip and thinking, what's that worth? What do we add for that? Does it make it better than fourth place? Do we put him in front of Griffin Paulson? This is all the things they have to think about when the scores are that tight. And Griffin Paulson will not start his last run, which is an interesting decision. It is, yeah. So he's gone from first place qualifier and he's accepted currently fourth, but Simon only needs, honestly, a tenth of a point, two tenths of a point to trump him. I'd love to see Simon on the podium with his brother. Wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't that be cool? One point separates him. It would be like a dream for these two brothers. Straighten the bike up. If you will throw it 20 feet in the air, that's what happens. Yeah. <laughs> what a buzz when you finish these runs. When you finish a contest yeah, exactly. day, you feel you feel on top of the world. No feeling like it, eh, Matt? No, you feel like you've been to war and back. It's cool. Yeah. Still waiting for this score to come in then. The crowd are eager to know too. They want to see their home favourite on the podium with his brother. Huge crowds. Here we go then. It uh, is! It's up 89.83 yes. then. So he goes up by point of five. Point four, the point five, excuse me. My maths is off today as well. Oh, so. so that's to their, their, um, as far as I see it, Rob, they're both guaranteed to be stood on the podium together. Both Godziak brothers, look, if if Griffin Paulson, who should be next to drop, is going to choose not to drop. Yeah. He's just cost himself a podium. And there, he's is a, there is a small matter of this man. Oh, it's true. <laughs> yeah. God, what was I and thinking? And Nikolai Rogatkin is going to be all on on this one, isn't he, Matt? Yeah. Last chance for him. It is. It's the last chance and to take And he can pull Kodziak. it out of the bag, right? Yeah. He, oh, absolutely. Here we go, then. Rogatkin on track. Fast plant 360. That's his regular way of spinning. It's going to be Cork 720. Oh! No way! Oh, oh he goes no! down at the top of this track. Well, he went, he went for broke, Rob. He did what we knew. He went for a Cork 720 no-hander. He would have been the only one to do that anywhere on the course. I'm gutted for him. He's fourth place for Nikolai. And I'm right, I'm now right, aren't Good I? That's for Simon Godziak. Simon Godziak. He's going to be happy to see Nikolai safe, but not on the podium with his brother. Oh, the flat backflip. Oh, he still has the twister. Wow! Oh, my goodness. What was that? Yes. Watch, it was, it was still trick the last. It's bonkers. Cash roll, little cool seat grab. No one does it like Nikolai. No. no one crashes and still wants to absolutely impress the crowd to that degree with a twister. Go on, Nikolai. 25 years old from Massachusetts. He looks gutted. Like we were talking about earlier with Emil Johansson away. Nikolai yeah. would have been hungry for the win. He could still beat Emil. Look but at that. Emil's been so consistent. A, a seat grab roll. in the middle of that. Yeah, take your hand off just for a laugh. Take both hands Look off at in this. a cork 720. It wasn't far off either. No. Came in a little bit back wheel heavy. It's minor mistakes like that. Pulling too hard on the flip made him uh, over rotate. It's cost him the podium. The level is insane. It's unbelievable. This is, yeah. Take me back 12 months before we had the break from competitions. I don't think we'd have seen this level of tricks on these jumps. But what a story that's coming together, Rob, at Roof Ride in Poland. We've got both Godziak brothers. I'm going to say it now. I know I was wrong before, but they're both guaranteed first and at least third, aren't they? First and third. I'm nodding with you. Because Max, is it Max Fredrickson in second with a 90? We need to see these. Like... 
It's Godziak leading with a 95, David. Max Fredrickson second there with a yeah. 90. What an event. It's an amazing event. Yeah, absolutely. There's proof that the, the third run, this format has shaken up the entire standings. They've so really Max Fredriksson, the sole remaining Swede in the competition. Currently sat in second. With that amazing 90 scoring run. There we go. Oh, he's just messing about then. Bit of a stem shag on the step up. <laughs> Well, he's had a good day's work here. Just going to enjoy this one. A lap of honour for this man. Yeah, and good for him for still riding down the course because he's on the podium. He's got second. And for Max, he's had a rocky couple of years. A few years where he's maybe sort of fighting for mid place, sixth, seventh, getting points to stay on tour. He's back. He's hungry. He's been working hard. He's been training all year in Sweden. A second place is going to feel good at an FB Gold event. Hugging out with Nikolai. Go, I miss it. It's well, good, probably good. not a big point scorer with the judges, but the crowd will like it. Yeah, different sort of crowd pleaser to what Nikolai went for. So, David Godziak, I don't know if he's going to drop in. I don't know. He's going to want to fist pump and uh, celebrate that. I mean, it's been, it's incredible. Yeah. David Godziak he's is going to be your Red Bull Roof Ride winner. What a dream for the Polish rider. Let's celebrate it when we can see him a little bit more on screen. It is, and after a bit of a, maybe a, an unfortunate spell in qualifying, he's clawed it back and he's actually won Red Bull Roof Ride. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Good for Max with second. I'm stoked for him. Yeah, definitely. Here we go, up on top, 22 metres in the air. So Our the victorious work, winner. The work has been done today for David Godziak. Yes, you've won Red Bull Roof Ride in front of a home crowd here. Then, so the biggest lap of honour for this man. What's he going to do? Is he going to take it easy? Or is he going to throw it out there? Looking stylish. I, honestly, I'd like him to still do a twister. He might. <laughs> he might. Imagine how he feels. He'll be smug well over the moon. Barspin on the drop. Oh, big flat spin. He's taking it steady because he's done his job. He's done his work. Yeah. That just goes to prove qualifying, although it can be good for your confidence, it doesn't write the podium. No, that's right. But it does take something special to come back from that, right? From a poor qualifier. Yeah, only 10th last, last week at Copenride, and now he's won the gold event in Poland. And we've still got the best trick competition to come, Rob. So I wonder if the champagne will be flowing. Yeah, I'll watch that on the Polish channel of Red Bull TV after uh, me and Matt say goodbye. A 45-minute best trick competition is coming up, but it doesn't matter. It's David Godziak that has won the inaugural Red Bull Roof Ride. Him and his brother thought this event up. So very fitting indeed that he's come out on top. His second run, an absolute banger. Cool. So the presentation coming up now. An amazing event, Matt. Yeah, some real standout moments with uh, some of the tricks there. We saw a twist in O-hander, double back to the bar spin. And we'll talk about these more later, but to put them inside the contest runs amongst seven features, they're, they're best trick tricks. They're tricks you see in the best trick competition, yeah. not in not in a contest run. It's unreal. There's the podium look. I mean, you have told me that you are thinking of making a bit of a comeback to competition. As today, has the level put you off or has it inspired you? Because it's never been higher, right? No, there's, yeah, there's no way we'd have seen tricks like that ever before. This is, it's blown my mind completely. Has it? But yeah, but I'm, I'm so, I've got the itch back. And when you've got that, you've got to go after it, haven't you? Yeah. I've loved, I love doing the projects, what I'm doing at the minute with Red Bull, with um, new tricks, new videos. I'm, I'm not going to park that, there's no way. But to squeeze in a few events like this, the ultimate. I yeah, I'll definitely still feel... Um, OK, we're going to hear from today's winner, Matt. It's uh, 
niesamowicie miło, gdybyście zostali do samego końca i podziękowali Here raz jeszcze w trakcie ceremonii wręcz. David, you just won Red Bull Roof Ride 2021. Tell the crowd how you feeling. I'm feeling amazing. Uh, it's always good to do the glory lap when you already know that uh, you are the first and uh, nothing can change it. What does it mean to you to win in front of your own guys? Yeah, it's super amazing for me, especially for the crowd from Poland, from my uh, local uh, place. That's so amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, bring it up for David Gojek. And there's your results. David Godziak by the big margin of five points in a class of his own here actually today. The Swede Max Fredriksson comes in five points off him, a 90 dead. Simon Godziak there in third place. A bit further down the ranking, Thomas Chinon didn't really perform like he would have wanted to do to come into ninth place. Sam Pilgrim does massive things on YouTube, does massive things still in FMB competition, taking a 10. So everyone, stay with us there, me and Matt Jones. We'll be back to have a look back at this incredible event in a few moments' time. We'll see you after the break. Spójrzmy na tego pięknego twister no handa. Jak idealnie go Dawid dociąga. Ręce wywalone na maksa na bok. Jeszcze Dawid jest długi, to wygląda wszystko niesamowicie. I tutaj znowuż pięknie dociągnięty no hand, barsting no handa. Bardzo chciałbym zobaczyć jeszcze w przejeździe. Experience select live events in a whole new way on Red Bull TV. Athletes' profiles and KPIs. Start lists and results. Head-to-head -head analysis and animated guides. Track information and obstacles. Keep up with your favorite athletes and artists. The new sidebar is available exclusively on Red Bull TV. When you have found your passion, time and space seem endless. A cinematic journey from lush coastal jungles to otherworldly landscapes. Join Brandon Semenuk, Emil Johansson and friends in an extraordinary adventure. Return to Earth, now available on Red Bull TV. This is the next chapter in modern day BMX. After three years of dedication, endurance, and pain. Oh, brother. It's now time for Etnies Chapters, available on Red Bull TV. Now, what did I do, boy? Roll like a man. In the 1990s, Jimmy LeVan, Pioneer, Daredevil, and BMX Rockstar bridge the gap between rebellion and progression. A reckless innovator who made BMX history. Jimmy's life would have killed anyone else that wasn't a BMXer like a thousand times over. Yep. Go Fast Pull Up, the Jimmy LeVan story, now available on Red Bull TV. Rob Warner. I'm taking the best young athletes on a quest to ride the world's greatest trails and meet the people who live in some of the wildest places on earth. Never had myself down as an Attenborough type. Yes. Ah, get off! <laughs> <laughs> the first sight of the Himalayas. You know, lions take the weakest and slowest rider. Oh, my word! Rob Warner's Wild Rides, now available on Red Bull TV. Anywhere around here you can get a cappuccino. Well, I can tell you one thing, Matt. That had to be Afternoon, Jackson, isn't it? Yeah, mind-blowing event. I'm, I'm so stoked to see all the riders back, pushing the limit, pushing the boundaries of the entire sport at a brand new event in Katowice. I mean, world's first tricks in competition runs is rare. I mean, you, it's very difficult to find scope and and range in a sport that's already saturated with insane bangers. And it so, carries so much risk, right, to do a, like a pull out of worlds first, doesn't it? I mean, yeah, it's, like you say, it's something more for best trick. Exactly. To have to do one of your best tricks right before that and after it, to squeeze it in, to pull it into an entire run, 
is rare, but I've loved seeing it. But yeah, what a podium as well. And you know, yeah, exactly. I mean, two Godziaks, both of the brothers in the top three. But let's talk about David Godziak and that unbelievable run he had today. I mean, wasn't it something special to see? And to win on home soil, to deliver that under all that pressure of a home crowd watching him, that must feel pretty damn special. Exactly. So, I mean, the run was, it was all time. He, he mixed together all, all the elements of what the judges want. It, 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 it wasn't hard for them to reward this with first place, was it? Five points clear of second. He jumped that, a lot of people weren't clearing it. Tail upon that, less of a crowd pleasing than a backflip, but it's different. No one was doing it. And a, that was that for me, a twister, no hander in the middle of a run on a huge, huge jump, effectively a mega ramp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We already knew that it was going to be in the 90s and then he did a cash roll bar spin. Another, another trick that only David was bringing to the table. So, um, yeah, you, you, can't, you can't be surprised that he's walked away with a win, can you? And 95 points on the... You know, that, that's a huge score, right? By any standards of any gold or diamond, yeah. any, any FMB event. It's yeah, incredible to any see sport, that. any sport, a 95's mega. He didn't really leave the judges anywhere else to go with that, did he? But no. Yeah, I, five I, points ahead of second place man today, which was Max Fredriksson, right? I mean, the Swedish rider, an incredible right result for him. It is, definitely. A gold event, second for Max, is... Maybe a few years ago it would have been expected. I, I do feel that Max is kind of like, in a way, drifted away from the podium a bit, but he's back and I can't describe the feeling that gives you, the fire you get in your belly to go to more events, get on the podium. His run was brilliant. He has a very, very perfect Swedish style where he can make intricate tricks, look good, look effortless. He's strong, he trains hard. See there, that's, that was cool. A 180 bar spin well, half cab in. He's not jumping it, but he's using it as it is, a skate park feature. Flip whip, a trick that just everyone loves. Spinning the bike round upside down. Back with double bar spin to no hander was, again, that set him apart from the rest of the field. It's cool. Great run. Yeah. Brilliant run. Really laying it down. It's interesting for me as well, just, you know, the top of that track, like we said, some riders kind of ignoring it. They had the flat turn and then that, that little jump box there. I mean, which I called a fun box earlier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, but a lot of riders kind of ignoring it or struggling with it. But there was points to be made there if you went for it, right? Which, it's, which Fredrickson did. It's a feature, isn't it? And, yeah. and each one of them counts. There's only seven on the entire run. Yeah, so it's well over. It's like, what, 10, 12, 13% of your run is that. Yeah. It might not be the biggest feature, but I think all the guys on the podium were aware that it was part of the course. They used it properly. And yeah, you did call it a fun box. We haven't had one of them probably since the 80s, but <laughs> it's there and it's in the course. And those guys actually maximised and utilised it. So good for them. David Godziak took the win, but what an amazing day for both the, uh, the Godziak brothers with, uh, with Simon coming in third today. I mean, he's not going to be too disappointed with that. A 1-2 would have been nice. Yeah, but, uh, yeah you're right, but a 1-3 isn't much worse, is no, it? No, so, that's but, right. And what a story. Both I mean... on the podium at their own event. They were the brainchild that brought this to Poland. Been years in the making. Yeah, he had, a, he had a fantastic run, but what a story. If this happened somewhere else in the world, it would nowhere near be as epic as in front of a home crowd. So his run, again, it had a bit of everything. Cork 720, I, I feel he definitely went higher than most of the riders there. And yeah. the judges look at all of those details. An extra 50 centimetres is enough. Didn't do a lot over that little no, he did jump box at the top. But he made, un, he made up for it down here. That, we talked about his FMX style. The only one hanging off the back of the bike that big. Double, Double flip. Yeah. So, where he may be... Oh, yeah, I love that run. He's got everything. 360 tail whips are a... Are a <laughs> Best dismount of the day. The most ultimate ghosty we've saw. So, it's a uh, slope style's about bringing all of your tricks together, but you can't repeat the same thing. You can't just do bar spins, you can't just do tail whips. Godzilla did that backflip Superman seat grab, which is such a cool trick. It, the crowd love it, and the judges just look at that and think he's selected that trick for the biggest jump on course. And he's followed it up with a double backflip, which is one of the hardest tricks. And they, they can't deny him of a podium. They can't. I often feel like slope style, you're not looking to grow your score to 100. Everyone starts at 100 and the judges are looking at ways of chopping points yeah, off. Yeah. You slip a pedal, you kind of case a jump, you don't land smoothly. They're taking points off. They're not always adding them on. And when you land smoothly and you go high, like we've just seen both Godziak brothers and Max do, there's no places they can fault you. So you think, well, podium. Nikolai Gatkin, quickly, was it, was it a bad day for him? I mean, fourth place, not a disaster. 
Managed to get himself an 89, almost on the podium. Is he going to be disappointed? No, Emil Johansson. I mean, good to see someone else step up and take the win, of course. But Among, Yeah, amongst the best riders in the world, anyone would be, would be stoked with fourth, but Nikolai won't be. He knows he can get... He knows he can win. He knows he can win. He's got all the tricks. He's got unique tricks. He's got moves that nobody else can do. So oh, that, look at that. No different to Simon Godziak. Maybe not quite as high. Fair, I mean, it's a very, very similar run, but... Had a big accident on that in yeah. qualifying, I believe. So, oh, look at that! It's insane! Yeah, Nikolai it's like a computer game. What's going yeah. on? He got, he's, okay, right, where I said he didn't go as high as Simon, he's absolutely <laughs> blasting the jumps down the bottom. It's so nice watching these runs back, yeah. seeing why and how they got rewarded with the points they did. And I really don't envy the judges for their job to have to Did find, they get it right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, David, hands down, best run. Best run I've seen for a long time, in fact, not just at this event. Nikolai, his run was unbelievable. It was huge, it had magnitude, it had difficulty. And it's not that we know Nikolai can offer more, it just didn't, it didn't tick all the boxes that David Godziak did because the places that it was made easier for the judges were things like that twister. Nikolai did a twister, already an insane move. David Godziak took his hands off in the twister. <laughs> yeah. You can't argue with it, can you? Wrist it all, yeah. it paid off. You can't argue with the, the additional level of talent, the additional level of training, and, and he made it all look perfect. So what an event. I'm what so an event. And actually, to... the podium, the crowd are going to be very happy with this one. Let's go back to Poland then for the podium and see uh, the Godziak brothers taking first and third today. <laughs> So, the crowd all hanging around for it. Yeah. Massive day. Of course they're going to hang around when the two locals are, yeah. are cruising up. First and third. He's had a few big crashes over the weekend, Simon. He had a, we watched him have a big off in qualifying, didn't we? So, part and part of the parcel, of course, but it does take something special, doesn't it, to put it behind you and get back up. To me, the risk involved in the moves that will win, I mean, you know, to, to, actually, to actually be able to pull off what we see these riders under all this pressure, to pull it off in, in those runs, that's what's blown my mind. Like, yeah. to actually stomp them tricks that are yeah. just insane. Back to back with no time to think, no time to kind of settle yourself if you've had a bit of a dodgy landing. These boys have all put it together. This is kind of, I want to say it's history in the making because twist to no hand isn't in mid run is, is going to set the sport in a whole direction that a lot of riders getting into it might think, oh, I've got my work cut out. These people have been relentless with their training. Yeah, that's right. The sport's changed a lot. Congratulations to our top three, Simon Godziak. Max Fredriksson with second from Sweden. David Godziak with a win. But yeah, you know, Matt, like a lot of these action sports over the last few years, they've become ultra professional. When you watch that, you can almost see the hours and hours of preparation that goes into every single move. I mean, I know just from following you on Instagram that you're at your compound every day and, you know, not disrespecting you, but you're not even competing now. No. Right? I mean, you're working on big single tricks for, for edits and stuff, but, but these guys, I mean, it doesn't stop, does it? And that probably is why we see a lot of riders like the Slope Star riders go off and do other things sometimes. It's, a, it's an intense place to be, isn't it, the, comp the competitive arena? Yeah, it's full on, isn't it? I mean, you're kind of weekend in, weekend out, back to back, having to send it and push yourself to your absolute limit. Yeah. Not on your home jumps, on a course that you've never ridden. And that's why you see riders with bruised arms, yeah. like scabby shoulders, in an event, because they've crashed a few hours before or the day before. And that's why I said earlier, it feels like going to war and back, because where at home, you might pack up the car, pack up your bike and go back for dinner, because you've had an off. Here you can't, you've still faced with a competition where you've got to be at your best. So you, resilience is, a, is an attribute that yeah. stands out. And if you're not, if you're not obsessed, with the sport. No, that's right. You ain't gonna you ain't gonna weather the storm, are you, and get to no. the top. But I've loved I've loved like the angle I've kind of the the kind of tangent I've gone on with creativity and learning new tricks and putting them in videos because it gives me an opportunity to do things that actually a course like that wouldn't enable me to. Yeah, but yeah, that's right. I've got absolute admiration and stuff, but for yeah. every rider at, at Roof Ride. It's been, a, it's been a hell of a show. It's been uh, one heck of a show. And actually, the mountain biking is coming thick and fast on Red Bull TV. It's summertime and only a few days to wait now before the UCI Mountain Bike Controls World Championships get underway in the hallowed venue of Val de Sole in Italy. Things kick off live on Red Bull TV on Thursday with, Thursday with the first ever short track world championship Saturday. Join us for the cross country world championship races and on Sunday it's the downhill in what has to be one of the most fearsome downhill tracks on the planet. The third time actually that Val de Sole has hosted the world championships. 
and I promise you, it will be breathtaking. Do you, do you watch any of the downhills, Matt? Yeah, it's, a, it's the best show ever, isn't it? It can be. It yeah. can be. It's been good this year. I must say you add to it, Rob. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And also, <laughs> throw me there. And also, there's some crank work stops as well to come later this year as well. We go to BC, British Columbia. End of September, all the events that you usually see at Crankworks, dual slalom, slope style, of course, the blue ribbon event there. But a great festival. And that'll be a diamond level event, right, Matt? So the course will be a little bit bigger again than what we, what we saw today, or? Yeah, more features, bigger jumps, but it's just overall, it's more gnarly. They, they go big for these diamond events, especially Crankworks. The, the course builder, Tom Hay, he always uh, throws in some curveballs with dirt takeoffs, like yeah. we were talking about. And uh, if there's anywhere where you see, I mean, we saw the big bangers today. Yeah, we did. At Roof Ride. So that makes me even more excited to get my teeth into Crankworks and see what everyone's going to do there because the jumps are bigger. The dirt landings, are, uh, it's hardcore, isn't it? You slide out, you, it's, it's cool. And don't forget, Red Bull Rampage coming up in October as well. Plenty to look forward to, and I will be watching. Matt, it's been incredible to have you. Thank you very much for... Uh, Giving us all, well, thanks very much for being a judge, getting that score right halfway yeah. through. Unbelievable. But no, it's been amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for joining us at home. And we'll see you on Red Bull TV, hopefully this week for the World Championships. Goodbye, though, for now.